Welcome back to Inside Wildcat Country. I'm standing on Bremner Field, practice facility for the UNH football program. We're still four months away from the start of a three-month college football regular season. So why is it that now with spring football, some of the most spirited practices are taking place right here and now? We'll find out what UNH spring football is all about. Just four months removed from its nation-leading eighth consecutive FCS playoff appearance, the UNH football team is back on the gridiron for the spring edition of Wildcat football. The Cats won't play a regular season game until August 30th at Holy Cross, but the team has already begun to fine-tune the skills needed to make another postseason run come fall. Well, spring ball is all about getting better, you know, and uh, it's an opportunity for kids that possibly haven't been in a starting position to get an opportunity to show the coaches and other players that they're ready to take the next step. Spring ball is fun. It's really competitive. I mean, we don't have games. We don't got a game plan for anybody. You don't got to save anybody's legs. You get hit, you get smash every period. It, it, it's fun. I mean, it takes a wear and tear, and it's kind of like camp, preseason camp, but it, it's it's fun, it's competitive. Guys are fighting for spots all over. Nobody's spots is, is secure. It, it, it's a fun time out here, and the coaches, coaches make it fun for us, too. It's, it's tough. You're a little rusty after a couple weeks in, running the indoor track and lifting and stuff. You got to get back into the groove of things, but uh, it's going well so far. We're getting better each and every practice. We put the pads on on Friday. Uh, we had a physical practice on Friday, and we came back out this morning. I thought uh, we ran around pretty well. You know, we're out here early this year. It's a difference from last year, but the intensity's still there. Uh, Coach Mack uh, emphasized all the time we got to get get going early. So we're up early anyway. So I mean, it, it all makes a difference. So we're all early fighting, and it's a big competition out here. That's all it's about. Uh, the younger guys pushing the older guys, and the older guys pushing the younger guys. Everybody's excited because you finally get to go around with the ball. You know, you can lift weights, you can do agility drills and all these things that we do, but there's nothing like having the balls. And then last, fr uh, last Friday was pretty good. We got to put the pads on. Today was our second day in pads, so that was the good part of it, you know. Unlike in-season practices that focus on the upcoming opponents, spring camp features a more competitive and hard-hitting atmosphere between the offense and the defense. We get after a little bit more in the spring. We, we hit a little bit more than what we do in, in the fall because we're, we're trying to save a little bit because, you know, we have games and everything like that, but now we don't really have games we get after it and uh, coach pushes us to see what we really have you know we game plan each and every week during the fall and, and we don't have to do as much of that here in, in spring ball so it's more we know our defense so it's, we're a little more familiar with that we, we see them all through camp all through spring ball and as you get older you get more and more familiar with it so it, it's a little bit different the prices are more physical because you don't need to save legs for Saturday and it's more competitive between the offense and the defense we see the defense each and every each and every period whereas we don't see them as much in, in, the, in the fall practice because we're game planning for James Madison teams like that so we're just focused on ourselves getting better at each position uh, offensively defensively special teams we, we uh, put a big emphasis on special teams in the spring and then once you get into fall camp and in season you're prepping for other teams you're worried about other teams what they're doing their schemes and stuff like that so right now we're worried about uh, each and every person getting better and helping this team so we can get better in the fall with no actual opponent on Saturdays to prepare for the Wildcats take a unique approach to stay motivated on practice days each practice we dedicate to someone in the, on the schedule. So we, we face an opponent on the schedule every spring practice. We try to simulate a game every day and what we're doing, you know, who our opponent is, how we have to practice in order to win that game. And that's really important. There's 15 practices, 15 games if we make it a national championship. But each and every practice is a game. Coach grades us on each and everything we do. We get wins and losses. If we don't practice well enough, we lose the day. If we practice well enough, we win the day. So we want to win each day just like it's a game each week. First game of the year, we played Holy Cross. We had a hell of a practice. We beat them. The next game, we played uh, Minnesota. You know, uh, we did okay. You know, Okay, is not good enough to be a Division One opponent. We lost, and then Friday we had a really spirited, tough practice, and I thought we did some really good things to beat um, Central Connecticut. So today's another day. We got to evaluate how we did. We played a very good Old Dominion team. We'll see how practice went. We'll make our evaluations from there. The team will have the chance to showcase what they've learned throughout the spring season when they take the field for the annual Blue White game on May 5th. The matchup pits teammate against teammate and gives Coach McDonald a glimpse of how his players react in real game situations. But that's an opportunity for everybody to show what they learned in the last uh, 14 practices and do all these things. It's an opportunity to get game-like situations for everybody. It's good because there's some freshmen who haven't played a game since their senior year in high school, you know, because they've been redshirted and have an opportunity. So it'll be good for our quarterbacks because of the first live situation where they're going against the team, you know, and, and without coaches and everything on the field. The annual blue-white game is set to start at 12.30 p.m. on Saturday, May 5th at Cal Stadium. Admission is free. For more information, visit unhwildcats.com. Here's 
deck with a snap. Gets to Starini. Sweep to the right side. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Starini, 18-yard run. 